Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care from Raleigh. Today I would like to explain the eye stent, which is a new implant designed to be placed at the time of cataract surgery that is one of the options available for a new type of procedures called minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. Now, this goes by MIGS for short and these procedures are an alternative to the regular more invasive and more extensive procedures that are available for patients with glaucoma. Now the eye stent is very small stent. In fact is the uh, smallest known implant that's placed in the human body. Uh, this is an example and you really can't see it but there is one right here in this disc and if you look online you can see some of the photos. It's actually smaller than the 20 on the 2016 stamped on a penny. Uh, so with this it provides an alternative drainage system for fluid inside the eye. So to understand this, uh, the drainage system in the front of the eye is called the trabecular meshwork and that's where the fluid from the eye naturally drains out. This is located right where the cornea and the iris meet and that's what we call the angle and at the time of cataract surgery we can place this stent right into that drainage system to give an alternate flow pathway with less resistance for the fluid exiting the eye. Uh, with this then uh, a lot of patients they may be able to use less drops to control their glaucoma after surgery or possibly if they're only on one or two drops before surgery they may be able to get off all their drops and have their pressure controlled adequate, adequately to keep the glaucoma under good control. Uh, in the future there are already working on newer versions of this and similar types of implants or drainage devices. Uh, some of these will be able to put in multiple ones into the drainage system whereas now with the eye stent in the United States we can only place one and only at the time of cataract surgery. Uh, other options in the future could be placing them um, alone or without, without having to do it with cataract surgery. Uh, so if you have glaucoma or if you're wondering about any other options that you may have in order to control your eye pressure, please post. We'll be happy to answer them and hopefully see you again soon next time on State of Sight.